Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we are talking about the new Guerlain Kiss Kiss Bee Glow Tinted Lip Balms. So these do have a very similar packaging to the Kiss Kiss Shine Blooms that came out last year. So this is a Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom lipstick and notice that we have the Guerlain logo on the top of that. The lip balms have a B and they have the Guerlain B instead. So uh, both products are 3.2 grams and they're both made in France. And I picked up all six shades of the lip balms. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some swatches. And we're actually gonna start with the Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom Lipstick in 258 My Kiss Glow. So in the lipstick line, they had one shade that is meant to be used as a primer if you'd like, or you can wear it on its own, but it's not as pigmented as the lipsticks, the other lipsticks, and it's actually a pH activated shade. So it will turn deeper pink. pH activated shades um, actually work by registering how much moisture you have in your skin. So, uh, you know, they will turn pink. That's well, at least in this case, there are a couple of chemicals that, that can do this, but you can see that it's gonna get darker and darker pink. So we have one sheer layer followed by a couple layers here. And this is again, 258 My Kiss Glow in the Shine Bloom lipstick range. So intend it as a primer. Now, the reason I wanted to start with that is because there's also in the B Glow line, there's 258, so same number, but this is the Rose Glow. You can see that it looks different. This looks almost clear here. And this is the shade. Now, it does not say anywhere on the Guerlain site that this is a pH activated shade. However, I, I think it has a little bit of that chemical in there because you can see that the shade is going to be very similar in tone and it does deepen just a little bit from when you first apply it, but it's just a much softer amount. So you're not going to get like that bright garish pink that you can get with some lip products, but I do think, you know, it will change just a little bit. So it gets a little bit darker, it's not gonna be clear. Next up, and we're going numerically, we have 309 Honey Glow. And this one's actually the lightest on my lips. So you can see this one is more of, more of the color of honey. 319 Peach Glow. And you can see that this one is gonna be a soft peach. There's a little bit more orange in it than the honey shade here, which is just a little bit more neutral. It's a little bit more of like a peachy brown compared to more of an orangey peach. And then next up, we have 409 Fuchsia Glow. And this one you can see is gonna be more pigmented. This has a beautiful pink shade to it. And if you notice compared to the My Kiss Glow and the Rose Glow, this is gonna be more pigmented and it's a little bit of a different shade of pink. So they're both kind of cool tones, but this has just a little bit more blue in it. Next we have 775 Poppy Glow. So you can see this is gonna be a soft red and it's a fairly neutral red. And you can build this one up to get more of that soft red lipstick look. So this one I think really does work well if you like a soft red look on your lips, but you're afraid of red lipstick. I think the red lip balm's a really good choice. And then the last one here is 809 Lavender Glow. This is what is currently on my lips. And this is the one I've been wearing the most so far. So here's Lavender Glow, and you can see that it's definitely gonna be more blue-based, but it's not, it, it's a blue-purple shade, but there's definitely pink in there. It's not gonna be like a grape purple. So let's talk a little bit about these tinted lip balms. According to Guerlain, this lip balm is infused with honey. It's made of 98% naturally derived ingredients and it revives the natural color of the lips with a touch of glowing shine by offering a 24 hour hydrating care. And I have to say that these are very comfortable. I have been wearing these for almost a week now, 
and I find them incredibly comfortable on the lips. And when they kind of fade and go away, my lips still feel moisturized. So I think the formula is very nice. It says they are creamy and addictive. It's incredibly melting texture, glides onto lips for long lasting comfort. The formula combines honey and melting active ingredients for soothed, softened, nourished, and plumped lips, more beautiful day after day. And I would have to say that I find these to feel very similar in texture to the Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom lipsticks. So texturally, they feel very similar. They feel slightly different. The Shine Blooms have maybe like a little bit more oil or glide in the formula. They're not an oily formula at all, but there's just a little bit more of that slipperiness to them than these lip balms, which feel a little bit more balmy. They feel very comfortable on the lips, but at the same time, they feel a little breathable. And what I mean by that is like, if you rub your lips together, they don't feel like it's totally occlusive. You feel, you know, the product there, but you also feel like you can get airflow to your lips. So I find that that kind of interesting. So these six shades were inspired by flowers that are favored by bees. And the ones that Violette, the creative director, considers her three it shades, are 258 Rose Glow. She describes it as a very delicate pink that has a subtle glow and is suitable for all complexions and styles. 775 Poppy Glow. This petal soft poppy red creates a very sexy flower lips look. And 809 Lavender Glow, the most fashionable and daring choice for those who prefer to wear bold makeup. And I personally think, you know, she made some great choices. My favorites would be the Poppy Red the Lavender Glow, and actually the Peach, 319 Peach Glow. I just really think they kind of, you know, span all of the different tones and shades. You've got lighter shades, darker shades, and I'm really enjoying these balms. I also love the Shine Bloom lipsticks. So the formula itself, I really love. Now, I know that the Shine Bloom lipsticks, they have a vanilla floral fragrance to them, and these do have a fragrance to them as well, but the uh, overwhelming note that you would smell in this is actually honey. They smell mostly like honey, a hint of a floral extract in there, but it's really mostly hidden by honey. So if you have smelled, you know, fresh honey, manuka honey or something like that, you know, this is what it smells like. So, um, you know, it's for me, it's not bothersome, but it's definitely something to note. And I find these lip balms to be really, really nice. We've had a lot of lip balms come on the market recently, and I don't know. I have to go through and rank them, but these are definitely going to be at or near the top of my list because they, you know, they're not just giving you that tint of color. They really are helping my lips with hydration and I love the colors. I think they're nice, they're sheer, they're light. You've got a nice range here. Now, keep in mind, these are tinted, but some of these, these lighter shades, you don't really see much on your lips. So is that worth the money for you? You know, that's gonna be a personal decision. I'm somebody who loves lip balms, and especially during the summer, I wear tinted lip balms a lot. And, you know, this is a very minimal makeup look today. I have on like the Westman Atelier Rendezvous, uh, little trio and the Tom Ford A Claude New blush and the Sicily cushion and that's basically it and you know this is the type of thing that I would wear a ton during the summer or just like running around doing errands and stuff like that so these for me are definitely products that I will use a lot now just a few notes about some of the ingredients that are included in this they call it the Beeglow line because of the honey and you know, components that they've used in this particular formula. We've got honey to restore, nourish, and soothe the lips continuously. There's propolis, uh, which smooths the lips and in tandem with hyaluronic acid offers a plumping effect. You've got beeswax, which nourishes and allows an addictive and sensory glide. So, you know, these are obviously not going to be a vegan lip product. So just a note there. We also have shea butter in here and eosin and, you know, all of these things in tandem or in conjunction with each other, they are all supposed to help provide hydration and help kind of repair, make your lips a little bit more youthful 
if you continuously use these, you know, filling in those lines, plumping them, offering hydration and so forth. All right, so those are all the details on the bombs. Now I purchased mine directly from Guerlain, but they are now available at other retailers like Saks and Sephora. If you are able to participate in this for sale, this might be a good opportunity. But I wanted to show you Guerlain has now have, they have two different types of packaging you can get. You can get the traditional gift packaging, but they also now have a more sustainable packaging option as well. So I want to show you how it comes. So it comes, you know, in your packing box. And when you open your packing box, this flap here has the B and then our inside lid, you know, first in French, then in English, but it says, thank you for choosing a parcel that minimizes the amount of packaging used and promotes the use of recycled and recyclable materials. Guerlain will recognize your gesture towards the environment by donating one pack of bee friendly flower seeds, which will produce 10,000 flowers for bees. Find out more, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, you know, they name their website and so forth. So you can look that up. But I thought that was nice. You know, I've gotten the sustainable packaging option from different retailers like Dior. Unfortunately, the Dior one's a mess. I still end up with this huge box. And, um, you know, my things have been broken half the time with a sustainable option versus the gift packaging one. Guerlain, the, you know, they package everything inside nicely. I've messed it up now. I've taken out a lot of the stuff, but, you know, it's all paper. You've got paper lined in here. And this is actually like adhered to the box. So you've got, you know, the box goes to here, but our cushioning goes to here and it's actually like adhered to the box and it had like paper wrapping and so forth in there. And it was still presented very nicely, you know, with a little, you know, receipt card and everything there and the free samples. So I just wanted to share that in case you are interested in ordering from their website, the sustainable option from their site is actually a very nice option. Now, I just wanted to give you a couple of comparisons before we leave for today. This is Rouge Coco Flash from Chanel and 168 Halo. And this is kind of their lavender shade. We're going to put this over here by the My Kiss Glow and the Rose Glow. And you can see how much lighter and more sheer this is. It's almost clear. There's a very, very soft lavender hint to there, but it's essentially almost clear. Just a couple of the Chanel bombs. This one here is 916 in Flirty Coral. So let's put this over here by the peach shade so you can kind of see how much more pigmented the Chanel bombs are. That's just one swipe. So if you want something more pigmented, you probably want to go with something like the Chanel bombs. This one here is 918 My Rose from Chanel. You can see the difference. And just a couple of the Dior bombs. This one here is 586 Dior Bloom. Let's put that right here. And you can see that this is going to be more similar. It's going to be warmer than the um, poppy red, but you can see that it still has a little bit of that reddish tone to it as well. This The Dior Bloom though is really more like rosy. And then we also have 728 from Dior New Rose, which was the limited edition one that has, it's no longer, <laughs> it's gone. But this is really more of a rosewood. So you can see that the Dior ones, these are the satin ones. They also have matte ones, but in pigmentation, they're still going to be more strongly pigmented than the Guerlain, but they're similar to the more pigmented shades. And Dior does have some like pretty clear shades as well. So one thing I'd like to note though, just in general, I feel like the Guerlain colors lean closer to neutral in the spectrum than the Chanel or Dior bombs. Chanel in general, they run a little bit warm with their colors. Dior has more of a mix, but um, you know, I think overall Guerlain kind of sticks mostly to that neutral lane and things can lean a little bit warm or lean a little bit cool, but they're pretty much right smack dab in the middle. And the last ones I want to look at are the Givenchy Rose Perfecto lip balms that came out last year. This one here is 102. Let's put this one down here at the bottom. And you can see that these are fairly pigmented with, you know, it, they're about as pigmented as the deeper shades in the glow balms. This one here is 303. And let's try to put this one here near the red. And that's gonna be a bit warmer. But these, again, you know, the 
these can go sheer, they can go light, but not to the same extent as the Guerlain. So it really depends on how much buildable color you are looking for. Texturally, I feel like these bombs on the lips feel more, most like the Givenchy followed by the Chanel and then the Dior. The Dior is a little bit thinner and waxier in texture than the others. Um, the others are a little bit creamier and balmier, but really if you're looking for something texturally, if you've tried the Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom lipsticks, that's essentially what they're gonna feel like on the lips. So I hope this was helpful. And please let me know what you think down below. And I hope to see you very soon. So have a great day and stay safe and healthy.